Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Wednesday, February 13th, 2019. All right, so today we have the moon well set in Taurus. So the theme today likely around cultivating our inner and outer resources. Uh, could be a good day for things like self-reliance, um, accessing that resourceful side, but also enjoying our external resources as well. So with this theme, we do have Mars easing up off of the conjunction with Uranus from kind of uh, last night to yesterday, um, but still very strong nonetheless. So really good day for integrating. If there has been any newfound sense of excitement or any new unexpected changes or new and different things that have come into the mix from yesterday. All right, so other than that, we're still in the first quarter phase of the lunar cycle, so great time for taking action and initiative towards any new things that we've been sort of working with the past week. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Wednesday. So again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, definitely check out that link down below because the signs are different from mainstream astrology. All right, so the moon well set in Taurus here today. The theme likely around taking the slow and steady approach to life. Uh, this could be through cultivating our inner sense of self-reliance, maybe some themes pertaining to that self-reliance um, and our resourcefulness, even cultivating our natural gifts and talents is really good here with this. But of course, also externally, right? Connecting to the things we have on the material level in our life that we can enjoy, right? enjoying the simple life, our senses, uh, food, nature, right? Luxury, perhaps. These kinds of things that help us find that security in grounding both our inner resourcefulness and the security that our external resources provide. Likely themes around this today and really good to enjoy it and cultivate it with the moon here. All right, so we are still in the first quarter phase as was the case from around yesterday. So uh, still great part of the week for taking any initiative towards any new things that have come up over the past week. As a week ago, we did have that new moon and the whole context of it is very grounded right now. We do have that moon in Taurus, an earth sign, but also the sun is finishing up Capricorn here sidereally. So with this, <clears throat> great to be focused on things still in terms of the long-term approach, what, re what requires responsibility, perseverance, this stable long-term approach to things, responsible, patient, disciplined, really, really good to be continuing to focus on those things and maybe still noticing some themes regarding these types of matters since the past week. <clears throat> so if there has been anything generally the past week that, you, that you've noticed in your life, new things, whatever it is, really good part of the week to challenge ourselves to move some of that energy forward, um, set some intentions, maybe take some action initiative, even if it's more receptive stuff, setting the intention to make it happen makes this first quarter an awesome way of working with this part of the lunar cycle. So along with this, the most important aspect we have is, of course, still this Mars over Uranus that is technically going exact today, but likely we're going to be easing up off of this um, here today. So after the contact, it does usually mean a good time to integrate the energy that more than likely the shift has already happened or is still kind of happening. And so we want to kind of implement it into our day to day lives, physical lives, you know, ground it. So this is uh, fundamentally about here is maybe some newfound senses of uh, excitement, perhaps, or things that motivate us, some wants or needs that we became aware of that can maybe be a bit exciting, uh, maybe a newfound sense of assertiveness or directness from whatever the shift was. So if you're still feeling a bit of this energy, <clears throat> sometimes it can be a lot to work with because it does involve Uranus which can be a bit erratic, again, maybe unexpected or, you know, just feeling a bit uh, impulsive. So uh, still a great day for channeling this into constructive ways. What are some things we can take action towards, motivate ourselves towards that, um, again, might induce some change 
and create some freedom into our life in healthy and conscious ways. And again, listening to that excitement can be very uh, helpful with this. So definitely an orb, great day for integrating it. How can we you know, really apply this stuff now moving forward with what really is a new beginning here involving this progressive side of ourself sort of now emerging from this conjunction. Now, <clears throat> this conjunction was at the tail end of Pisces as Uranus and Mars now make their way into Aries. So with the Pisces influence, a lot of this could still be taking place in the unconscious mind. It could be about more receptive approaches to things, right? For example, taking action in a way that's still receptive, accepting, unconditional, non-attached, you know, these kinds of things may be still the theme. So uh, good to still have that receptive approach while certainly gearing up for what will be this transit into Aries of taking action and initiative towards some of these uh, excitements or newfound changes that we could be now just getting this bit of a prelude to uh, from yesterday and today. All right, so that conjunction still an orb, the most important thing going on astrologically today. All right, other than that, on a very minor note, the moon is going to be squaring up to Mercury. So a good day for challenging ourselves with communication and learning. If there's anything you can set some intentions with involving the mind or communication or even our routine, could be a great day for doing that. All right, but the most important stuff is integrating this Mars-Uranus conjunction. And of course, the theme of the day, very grounded, uh, of Taurus, cultivating our inner and outer resources in that slow and steady approach to life, which is really kind of the big picture perspective anyways, focusing on things that do require that discipline and long-term perspective. And again, first quarter moon, great time to set some intentions with maybe moving things forward in this grounded, long-term sort of way. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow for the Daily Forecast.